Thank you for tuning in to Get More in Life Relationship Talk with your host, Antriana E. Stone, the love advocate. Tune in bi-weekly on Wednesday for our latest topics. And don't forget to invite a friend. And keep in mind, you can message me right here on this platform. And I welcome you to be a guest. Visit GetMoreInLifeCoaching.com for more details. Thanks for listening. I'm going to start this podcast off by saying this is your prep time, your warm-up for your season. And yes, your season is coming. One of the questions that I asked uh, last week that we're going to talk about this week, there were three questions. And question number one, should we believe the things we see or don't see? Here's my answer. If you look out and see a bush, well, you know it's a bush because that's what you're looking at, a shrub, a bush, because that is what you see. But if this was a mulberry bush and you were the gardener of the bush, you would water it. And if you wouldn't believe that it can become a tree because you still only see the bush. So you go away for years and come back and you didn't recognize the bushes you once attended from watering, fertilizing, and pruning because they've all grown into tall, budding, beautiful trees. So take a look around you. If you're looking out of a window, there may be a building, a house, or um, a wooded area, like behind my home is a wooded area. But behind those things are more homes and buildings. There are some lakes, rivers, and now there's an ocean that you can look out and stretch your mind beyond the horizon. And beyond the horizon, there lies your plot of land, yours already designated for you for your appointed time. You don't see it, but it's there. You were created with assets that have been gifted to you with talents and tools to claim your plot. So this is your prep time for your season because your season is coming. You don't have to seek it. It's going to come to you, but you have to prepare for it. Now, one of the gifts that you received already, and that is the main gift, and we know what that is. That is the gift of love that will guide you and alert you when there is your time to change. So, since you've already been gifted with the gift of love, who are you gifting yourself to? Then you have the gift to choose. What choices are you making today compared to what you made yesterday? Are they better choices? Then we have infinite Intelligent, that mind, that unlimited mind, indefinitely, exceedingly great tool we have, the mind, which is unmeasurable. And then, of course, we have five senses. Touch, smell, let me see, yeah, touch, smell, taste, sight, and sound. But within these these treasures, within the treasure box filled with these items, there are more items. And if you want to get to know some of the other items and how to use these tools, schedule your 30-minute love chat with me by visiting GetMoreInLifeCoaching.com or either message me right here on this platform. I just recalled um, 
something just dropped in my spirit that Bruce Lee said, which ties into do you believe what you don't see or what you do see? And that is don't seek, but allow. You may not see it, but it will come when least expected. Just let go. The second question that I asked was, will preparing prepare us, deter us, or be us? So my answer to that was, is, I should say, we will call this the warm-up to get more in life. Because we have to program our mind, project our vision, with our purpose and a plan. So yes, it's going to prepare us. It is the preparation for our season to come. It is our projected vision that keeps us reaching for the prize. So you have to come up with your vision. Like my vision is to help single, divorced, and dating women to connect to their earthly soulmate as well as married couples that want to save their marriage, but they both are being stubborn. And the stubbornness is not allowing them to flow naturally. So it's causing a strain in their relationship and their marriage. So what is your vision? So, yes, it's going to prepare us. And it is the preparation for our season to come. It is our projected vision that keeps us reaching for the prize. And yes, it is going to deter us. Yes, it can discourage us from our vision if we do not prep our minds and prepare to finish the race. Think about it. Think about the times that you've been discouraged and not knowing what to do. Just think about how simple that experience was and how you've moved on. So we can't let things come up in our lives that's going to discourage us from where we're headed. Because you got to have your plan. you got to have your vision. Therefore, you have to keep your mind on the things that are not there, but project it out that you're going toward to reach. And be us. If we can't be who we are, who can we be? My answer is to know yourself. Don't deny yourself Accept all of you. You are beautiful. You are handsome. You are what God has made. And there's nothing wrong with you. And you got all these gifts. You got all these talents. You got all these things within you, the tools to use to do and accomplish what you want in life. But we have to prepare for our season. This is prep time. Prepping time for our season. So. There's one more question that I asked, and I would love to hear your answers to some of these questions. The last question, number three, was, do reasons come before the answers, or can you find the answer within the reasons? My answer to this is that the reasons are the answers. Because the answer is intertwined within the reason. You are the answer and only you know the real reason. Once you discover your reason why, you'll discover you are one and must not leave no part of you out of your intentions. The reason just doesn't pop up from nowhere. It can stem from a thought, a reaction of a mind conditioned from a memory of an experience that tri- that uh, triggered that thought. 
And all memories are not meant to be good memories, but to work through it. You accept it because it is real. If it is coming from a partial memory of a of a um, partial experience, we are processors of the then, the now, and the was. Therefore, we must change because times are not the same. There are a lot of things going on today that weren't going on two weeks ago. So five years ago, we can see the changes, and it is evident if we look at a photo from five years ago, you'll be able to see you don't even look the same. Even if you look in the mirror, you don't look the way you looked five years ago, and I know I don't. I'm trying to find some ways to look better myself. But that's that mind condition of a memory from back then and not now. So it is very important that we release those things that's not allowing us to have an open mind. So we have to release them. We have to empty our mind just like an empty glass. It has to be empty in order to be fulfilled again. So I would like to leave you with uh, some more questions just to keep us going. And keep in mind, I'm open. I uh, My calendar is open. You can call me. I mean, you can get on my calendar for a 30-minute love chat. And we could talk about your preparation for your future, for your season that's coming. If it's a man, if it's a woman, if it's a job, it's all the same preparation. It's about mind shift, mindset, your heart, your body, and your soul. So one question I would like to ask is that what principles are you going to create for yourself? Because that's the groundwork. Where will you begin to sow? How will you prepare your soil for sowing? What type of seeds are you going to plant? Are they going to be organically grown or genetically modified to reap the harvest? In its due season. Well, I'm Antrion E. Stone. I hope you've enjoyed this podcast as much as I have delivering it. Don't forget to message me on this platform with your answers to the questions and with your questions that you seek answers for. And share and tell a friend. Until next week, don't forget. You know what I'm going to end it with? Love is God's gift and protection. Download it as a guide to alert us to change. Stay safe and peace, joy, and love.